I think this is so much better than the C63S, especially now that the C63S is a four cylinder and we still have an inline six here. So now the M4 is winning. on the lock button. It's so hot outside and this would be so useful because I can just turn on the car, keep it running, keep the air circulating. Just to turn it off, one, two, three, again. I know you can do this from the app, but it's just so much quicker to do it from the key. Sometimes when you do it on the app, it kind of like spins for a little while. So. This is so awesome. I've had the car for just over a month now and put just over a thousand miles on the car. So I figured I'd show you guys everything I've done to the car in the first thousand miles of ownership. The very first thing I've done to the car, which I think everyone should consider doing, is the ceramic coating. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but the car is just so much glossier and shinier than it used to be, which I love. But that's not the only perk. The best part is when it rains or when there's dirt on the car, it comes off so much quicker and easier. So it just kind of all glides off so quickly. If you have a nice car, I highly recommend getting your car ceramic coated. The next thing, which you guys can probably tell from the outside, is the tint. So I went ahead and did a 35% tint on this car, which I think is perfect because it makes the car just look so much cleaner, meaner, more aggressive, but it's not totally blacked out and too dark. And the best part is 35% tint is actually legal in North Carolina. My California people know this struggle. Every time I saw a cop in California, I would just have to drop the windows down. So it's really awesome that I can have this tint. The most exciting thing though that I've done to my car, in my opinion, is removing the valve actuators. So I'm gonna get in and rev the car in a second so you guys can hear it. Even in Sport Plus mode, BMW only allows the valves to be open up to 70%. So you never hear the full pops and bangs of the car until you do this. Also, even in Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus mode, the valves are never fully open. So this is just such a huge difference in my opinion. And I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm gonna get in and rev the car and let me know if you guys can hear the difference. out here so let's get in the car and I'll show you guys things we've done to the inside <laughs> the car was an M2 by the way when I was driving it here's my M2 setting so did sport plus for engine chassis sport steering because that's there's no sport plus steering and comfort brakes and of course X drive so did you know you can turn off the X drive but it, it turns off the traction too. <laughs> so basically if you wanted to drift or something, that's the cool thing about the X-Drive cars is you can. Before we go on our drive to show you guys the pops and bangs, I wanna show you guys what I did to the inside of the car. So the first thing was the radar detector and it's actually hardwired in, so no ugly wires and it's just, it's just such a lifesaver. Like the number of times this thing goes off when I don't see a cop myself everyone needs a radar detector such a lifesaver the next thing is the dash cam so i have my dash cam right here and in the back as well so i have footage from the front and the back and again just one of those things where it's just you never know when you're going to need it but if if you need it for some reason it will save you just having the footage is just so invaluable i feel like because there's people that just jump in front of me all the time Hopefully the mic's picking this 
is up. I hear it. Oh yeah. This generation is has just changed my mind the last generation I stand by what I said but this generation the G82 M4 has just blown me away like I think this is so much better than the C63S especially now that the C63S is a four-cylinder and we still have an inline six here so now the M4 is winning before the C63S was a V8 I I love this car recommendations for me let me know I'm totally open to it I just felt like this would be a good first thing to do just because I felt like it was a little too quiet right away I had to quickly pull over because I forgot to tell you guys something so one thing I noticed about this car is the insane brake dust I just got these wheels cleaned yesterday and they're already so dirty like after one or two drives, they just become brown and you can't even see the color under the wheels. So yeah, for my BMW owners, if you have a recommendation on alternative brake pads that are just as good as the OEMs, let me know because that is something else I wanna change. Or should I ceramic coat the wheels and just call it? I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough though for this brake test. this video I will do a full review I'm just waiting to just know every single thing about this car and do that full review for you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up follow me on Instagram if you want to and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys